It's a view that never gets old. And just across the street from Garden of the Gods, you'll find a reason that the park has remained so beautiful and popular. The gift of that visitor center is far more than the bricks and mortar. Inside the Garden of the Gods Visitor and Nature Center, people explore the park's history, buy souvenirs and snacks, and take photos. The money they spend goes toward maintenance and care of the park, and it all started with a woman named Lida Hill. She was out hiking in the Garden of the Gods one day and noticed the terrible shape the trails were in and the maintenance that needed to be done. So she called Nancy Lewis, who was the park's director at the time, and said, what are you going to do about this? And Nancy said, I'm doing the best I can with the money that I have. And so I had to put on her entrepreneur hat and suggested to Nancy that she build a visitor and nature center outside of the park and that the proceeds from the center would go to the city to help maintain the Garden of the Gods Park. So much of what we enjoy about the park, the well-developed trails, the parking areas, the ways that we enjoy Garden of the Gods today are a result of the funds generated through that vision. In the 27 years since the Visitor Center has been open, we have actually donated over $5.3 million to the City of Colorado Springs for maintenance of the Garden of Gods Park. Lida Hill was born in Texas, but luckily for us, she has spent every summer of her life in Colorado Springs. Lida is the daughter of Al and Margaret Hill, and they were Texas oil money. Her mother is the daughter of H.L. Hunt, who founded Hunt Petroleum, and when he passed away was one of the richest men in, in the country. And like so many Texans, Al and Margaret fell in love with Colorado Springs. It eventually ended up buying property. One of those is Seven Falls, and so the family owned Seven Falls, and Lida tells great stories about working there. She has pledged to give the entirety of her wealth to charity, and she hopes to do the bulk of it during her lifetime. Fortunately for all of us who live in Colorado Springs, we are part of that plan. Lida has been the force behind so much positive change, so many projects and familiar places, but most Colorado Springs residents probably don't know her name. Most of her gifts over, the, over her lifetime have been anonymous. A good example is during COVID, without even being asked, she made generous donations to many of our local nonprofits with no strings attached, no expectations, for them to use the money so they could continue to provide services to our community during that time. She cares deeply about land and water and she made an incredible investment in one of our projects focusing on water conservation throughout our region. She began several years ago with funding the Veterans Trauma Health and Hazards. Then looking at the work that has been done and the national reputation of that work, she said we're going to do more. So she funded what has become the Lida Hill Institute for Human Resilience. Right now, Lida is helping to fund a visioning process for Fountain Creek and Monument Creek, and how this main waterway that flows right through downtown Colorado Springs, how it can be brought back to life and be an economic generator for downtown Colorado Springs. That project is not just about making improvements to the creek, but it's about elevating our community as a whole. And then there's the impact Lida has made on those who work with her, know her well, and respect her. She is intelligent, she's athletic, she's kind, she's loyal, she's a true friend, and most of all, there is no one who has a higher standard of integrity than Lida Hill. I have this great photo of her trying to capture a, on her phone a photo of a rock or a plant or and, and, and kind of straining to get just the right image that she wanted to capture. And that, in my mind, kind of encapsulates who she is, just curious, wanting to, to understand and to, to, to picture visually, but also intellectually, the meaning of, of the natural world around her. I actually have light of quotes <laughs> on my desk, no, no joke. And um, one of my favorites that she shared with me is, if nobody pushes back, it's probably not worth doing. What is definitely worthwhile is recognizing Lida Hill 
with the Mayor's Spirit of the Springs Lifetime Achievement Award. She always says, my privilege is to make the world a better place. The impact is beyond measure. It is so easy and so important to say thank you. <laughs>